Welcome, in this video we will set up a firewall, we will enable HTTPS for secure access to our site and we will also set up SSH keys so that we can access the server without a password. Let's start with the firewall, there is a good tutorial here which tells us how to do that. The first command that we are using is, uh, well, let's first connect to the server. Let's do that as root. And our first command is going to be ufw, which is the firewall open SSH, so that we are sure that we can access via SSH when we set that up. Now we will enable the firewall and we can look at the proceed, yes. We can have a look at the status by using the status command and it says that we have SSH enabled both for IP version, version 4 as well as for version 6. Now let's have a look at the app list of available apps and you can see that Nginx is also one of the apps that needs to have access. Um, we can choose between HTTP, HTTPS or both of them and we'll enable both of them we, because we want to have HTTPS set up and HTTP redirected to HTTPS. So what we'll do is allow Nginx4 and both of them are enabled now. That's all with, with respect to the firewall basically and now we go to uh, setting up HTTPS and there is a good tutorial again on that as well. Um, there is a good, there is a link in the written tutorial as you are used to. So I'll just copy this command here and that tells us to install certbot which will take care of the let's encrypt certificate needed for HTTPS. While that is installing, we already look to the next command, which is to obtain this SSL certificate. We have to use this certbot command, and the command for that is certbot dash dash nginx domain, and then our domain, www, oh, domain www python.com. email address we agree to that no we don't want to share our email address and now it asks us whether whether it should redirect the HTTP requests to HTTPS and we do want to do that so we choose number two and the process is finished now there is a link here which allows you to test whether the site is secure. Let's go there and let's fill in our domain. And then you can see we have an overall rating of A which means that our site is very well protected. Let's have a look at what Certbot actually did by going to the directory etc nginx sites available and having a look at the at the file here the configuration file and you can see that there are some lines added which have to do with uh, the listening to 443 for SSL and you can see that it says managed by certbot these are the lines that certbot inserted there just like these lines here as well which do the redirect Okay, now we want to set up SSH, which is the final part of this video. Let's log out here because we need to be at our local computer and then we need to set up keys. We want to have it in the default location, which is at uh, directory in the home directory dot SSH. No passphrase. And then we're finished. Let's have a look here. Then we see that the SSH directory is there. Let's go in there. And we have two in files which are important, which is IDRSA, which is our private key. And then we have a public key here, 
uh, let's go in there, but let's not completely show that. Um, well, there we have the key. We just copy this and go over to our server. Then create a directory dot ssh, go in there and make a file which is called authorized authorized underscore keys and paste in the key that we just copied and we switch user to user pet because we want user pet also to have access to the server without a password. So we also create a directory here and create a file. Oh, we should first go in there. Create a file, authorized keys. Paste this in, save it. Let's put this back again, log out. And let's see if we can access the server without a password. Yeah, we didn't need a password, and the same for the root. If we would have done that, then we wouldn't need it, wouldn't have needed any password. So our last thing to check is if our site still is working. Let's use HTTPS and then www Python tail.com and that seems to work fine let's test the redirect http ww and then same and also that is working fine that basically concludes everything that we wanted to share now um, hopefully i see you next time bye